hello and welcome back to another video with me today i wanted to just quickly show what i am doing to my scalp while my hair is in this braided style i've had these braids in for about seven days no extensions was added so this is all my hair so my scalp is not terribly itchy or irritated or dry but it is starting to feel a little bit parched so i do want to address that before any noticeable flakes or dryness start to take over I'm going to use a total of three products today. The first is my jojoba oil. This oil I have shown before. I also use it in my son's hair. It's excellent. I get it from Amazon. I'm only halfway done this bottle. It lasts quite a long time. I'm applying the oil with a dropper only to my scalp, just in those front portions where my scalp is starting to feel a little bit irritated. And then I'm gonna go in with just my fingertips and pat the oil in and rub it into the hair, trying to make sure I don't disturb the braids and cause any unnecessary frizz. Now, surprisingly, this has been the neatest. I have been able to keep my braids looking. Usually, I leave them in from anywhere to 10 to 14 days, 14 days being max, um, just because I get too much scalp irritation and frizz. But this time, the braids have been looking so neat and clean and frizz free. And I attribute that to the fact that I used my Cantu Daily Oil Moisturizer in my hair as well as the castor oil hair oil at the roots and scalp before braiding which has really helped to keep the stray hairs flat i'm going to apply a little bit more of the castor oil hair oil along the scalps and then use my fingertips once again just to rub it in and make sure there is no obvious chunks of oil sitting in the hair and then i am going to spray a little bit of the proclaim hairspray that i have just because i find that the jojoba oil doesn't have a super pleasant smell it doesn't smell bad but it does smell a little bit earthy the castor oil has a great smell and then the proclaim oil also has a great smell so i'm trying to cancel out the smell of the jojoba oil I also think that the braids have been staying looking neat because I do this for when it comes time to take a shower. So I pull all my hair up to a super high bun. Mind you, it's a little bit tricky to wrap the braids with the beads, but I just put it into a bun like this and then use an elastic to secure it. And then I'll put a shower cap on and shower. And this way, the nape of my neck, the hair in the middle of the head, as well as my edges do not get sweated out. And then when it comes time to bed, I'll put a bandana on or do rag, whichever one I have in closest proximity, uh, secure it the way you normally would. And then I put my satin long pink bonnet on. I use this one specifically for when my hair is straightened because my hair is so long or when my hair is in braids and I can sleep comfortably with it and it doesn't fall off if I have a bandana on underneath because of that silky material it has a little bit more resistance so it's not just gliding around my head and on the pillows at night and that is the three ways i have been maintaining these braids for the past week and i will continue to use these methods the next time i braid up my hair for the summer i hope you enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up if you did like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace out